I did, I'm interested to see how this uh, plays out because I'm going to be upset if there isn't some conclusion to the whole mica thing. And once we get done with this mission, we will be uh, leaving it on a cliffhanger until tomorrow. I will check uh, to make sure, see just how many missions we have left, see where we're at, where we stand before I end the stream. Alright. I don't need to stare at him all the time. Right, this is... This is exactly what I expected. Whoa. But they did it in a way that I never saw coming. And the hat thing still fucking blows my mind. Like... Once he handed it to him, I was like, oh shit, that's John's hat. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. I'm going to let him win. Let him win. Got to let the kid win. Not by much, but you got to let him win. We're doing it, boys. <laughs> That's great. I wonder if, like, I mean, he was so much younger before, I, I couldn't imagine it being the sa same voice actor. But, like, I wonder if this is the same voice actor for uh, Jack in the first game before the, uh, the time jumped forward at the end. Because in the first game, John dies, and time jumps forward three years, I believe it is. And you take over as Jack. No. I'm, I'm a ghost. I'm a specter. It's fine. Slow up. Jack Jack has to win by like a very small amount. <laughs> He's Charlie Sheen. Alright. It seems like it's a much further uh, ride. Like <laughs> I love it. Don't run over that that thing didn't even move, like why is that animal so calm? This is great, though. Like, can we talk about how awesome this is? It's just... Oh, God, I'm so happy about this game right now. I beat you! I beat you! I <laughs> beat... Well ridden, son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Uh oh. Um. What is that? Whoa! <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy? You will be the first one we kill. Who are you? <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful! Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, kick his head in, boss. Come on. <laughs> It's like that, huh? Getty spins on women, saves on hands. Good lord. This guy can take a beating. Oh, he's licking you, boss. Yeah. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Uh-huh. Keep telling yourself that. Come on. Oh, there she is. Get off that man. Get off. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. 
Welcome to Big Valley, Tim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. All right, I guess that's another day. Maybe another jump in time or something. Is there supposed to be... I don't know if there was supposed to be somebody operating that thing. John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. I don't remember the names. Uh... I haven't really gotten too acquainted with the uh, characters here on this little ranch, but I do have a few missions here. It looks like one of them's for Abigail. I'm going to go do that one first. Um, but one of the guys that I'm working for, not the uh, owner of the ranch, but the the hand that is my boss, uh, essentially, already sees through the fake name that John has assumed. Uh, John is calling himself... Jim Milton, which I think Milton is just because of the Pinkerton, maybe? That has yet to be seen. But uh, we can assume since the Micah situation was not really handled, uh, that that's where this is going. At some point, Micah's going to show back up. Someone's going to show back up. So far, if you are familiar with the first game, uh, you know that Uncle was associated with uh, John and his family in the first game. So far, Uncle has not shown back up. He didn't leave with John at the end. He left on I his own know. beforehand. Surviving. Fatherhood for idiots. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know, undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. Ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. But you're learning. I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. I'm doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot! Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods. Me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. I'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. Alright. Uh, so, fair warning. These missions will likely be uh, a little more boring than what we're used to in this game. Uh, that seems to be a theme with Red Dead. Only that you aren't so happy here with us. Son, I'm happy. It's just... I, I find it hard, is all. You'll understand someday. Uh, but yeah, that, that's kind of how Red Dead goes. Uh, things get very calm 
and almost boring at the end of the game, and then something ridiculous happens. I'm not in control anymore. See, so yeah, I'm, I'm still waiting for this to uh, somehow go south. Uh, also, I didn't mention this. Uh, this is years later after Arthur died. Uh, by my best assumption, I would say probably somewhere around nine years later. Because Jack at one point said he was 12. And I, I'm just guessing that he was three before, two or three. That's enough. For now. Again, strawberry egg. Yeah. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look. <laughs> I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Okay. So I wanna I wonder what this mail is. You giving the horse a rest, Pa? No, just trying not to kill us all. The man is unusual. I am quite aware. Okay, here we go. Right. Here we are. You alright, son? Sure. Well cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. So, the it's book that he's easy. reading. I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hmm. The the book that he's reading. If I had found the book that he asked Arthur to find him, I wonder if he'd be reading that instead. Uh, that that intrigues me. Hello, collect mail. Uh, I'm here. To name. My name. Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. Nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Oh, there it is. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Card's gone. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pop? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. All right. Something's gonna happen. That guy heard it. Okay. That guy definitely so, noticed wait. it. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back. That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. 
All right. Let's see what happens, because I expect someone to uh, show up and be angry at the fact okay, that I exist. Speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Hmm. All right, um, we're going downhill, so I think you're good at the speed you're at for now. Uh, we'll see how that works out in a minute. Oh, God, I don't look forward to this. John's going to see me kill somebody. Or Jack, rather. Or fucking Lancelot, which is just ridiculous. All, All right. right. Speed up. Let's get away from that. Okay. Hey, uh. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. All right, asshole. I see you back there. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. What are we doing? Give him a switch. All right, let's see. And obviously, I don't want to wreck the fucking wagon. That would be bad. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. <laughs> I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. All right, I can't control him anymore. Huh? Oh, here it is. Just keep driving. All right. Yeah, here we go. What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pod, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. Uh, come on, quick, now. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. We boys want with us. Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> All right, this went to hell real fast, and I'm not good at it anymore. Okay. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Keep your eyes closed. Drive the wagon. Good. Good parenting. Come on. Get up. I guess I'm driving. Where are you going, horse? If the horse would do something logical. Are they dead? I don't think it's this way. I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now compose yourself. You killed them, Pa. Son, I need you to hold it together. Alright. Why are you going um, so slow? You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly okay. what I said. Here we go. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. There. 
Jack, are you okay? Because I think you might die. So how is this gonna fuck up everything with John's position now? He's just trying to calm Jack down, but it's not letting me talk to Jack anymore, and that concerns okay, me. That was an, uh, eventful trip. Um. Um. John, I. What? <laughs> the wheel fell off the wagon. <laughs> Why is it still working? The wagon literally disintegrated and it was still going. How is the Uh oh. What happened? Yeah. It's I don't We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed and then we... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! It was your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Alright, it's auto saving now. Uh, it's like the longest it's ever taken to do that. But then again, I only just made progress, I guess. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. All right. Let's see. Let's go see what's going on over here. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the... Jim uh, Milton rides Rides again. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> oh, that. How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Wasn't a mission at all. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Why is she examining that fork? Anybody want some more? Hmm. No, uh, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Ah, uh, shit. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? Job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh wow. Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the door. They got Tom. Where? Rich man's father. You go. Who's 
Hi guys. Alright, come on, there we go. Come on now. You know you can't win, I'm the protagonist. I don't even know who that is. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Well, I guess we're getting your cattle. Back, I sir. guess we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of sex. Does everybody know? I'm the only person that thinks I'm a different person. Come I mean, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Oh shit! There it is. Real good to us. We. I. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. All right, let's do this. I'll lead the way. I got my weapons back. Oh, I got Arthur's weapons, I should say. Uh, that. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right. Did I get a new gun? Maybe it's John's gun. I assume. All right. This is a very quiet and awkward ride, guys. Somebody want to have a conversation? Yeah, John's knife Our now. Oh, we'll okay. Well, that was a short ride. Okay. So. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna get both these guys killed, right? Because they have no fucking clue what the hell's going on. You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You're all so tough. All right. I'll just take you out. Isn't this the same ranch where? Yeah, it is. This is where me and Sadie fought the uh, O'Driscolls. So that's one concern that I have is, uh, I wonder what happened to Sadie. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called San Denis. Well, that's pretty good. Well, I told you 